this is what I have when I do ears. <coughs> the stuff that I use. I have some basic cotton balls. Torbot bonding cement <coughs> uh, used as a glue. Some yarn if I'm going to be tying the ears together. 91% isopropyl alcohol. Unisolve adhesive remover. <coughs> and double sided cloth tape. The rest of the video will show you how each of these things are used in the process of bracing ears. First thing I do <coughs> is I peel off a section of the tape. <coughs> it doesn't have to be very long. Basically, maybe two or three inches uh, based upon the um, width of the puppy's ears. <coughs> I then take a piece of yarn I'm going to be tying the ears together. <coughs> I <coughs> fold the yarn in half. And I place it <coughs> along the bottom edge about halfway across of the tape. I then fold the sticky sides together. Don't need to be in a rush. <coughs> you want it to be as smooth as you can so it's not irritating to the dog's ear. When you get done with the two pieces, you should have two, piece, two braces <coughs> with the yarn facing in the middle and you peeled over the plastic on the outside of the tape <coughs> on each uh, brace. <coughs> when you put it in the ear, make sure it's, the yarn is towards the middle of the head. I will show that later. Yeah, this is Annie, and her ears were pulled up on top of her head when, when I first got her, <coughs> but they're still a little low. Annie, Annie, hey, never mind. This he is. This he is. <clears throat> so we're going to work on her ears and try to get them a little higher. The first thing I want to do is clean the ear so that it's as clean as possible so that the brace will stick close to the, you know, stick well to the ear and stay in for a reasonable period of time. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, I'm going to want to, she's got some glue residue <clears throat> from when the uh, braces were in the ear previously. So I'm going to clean them, <clears throat> clean the glue residue off with the Unisol. doing your ears. Am I doing your ears? The only thing with the Unisol is you want to make sure you get <coughs> clean it off with the alcohol after you get the, the glue residue off. <coughs> Don't climb up on me. <coughs> so now I'm going to use the <coughs> alcohol and clean the Unisol off well so that it, the residue doesn't remain on the ear. Annie. <coughs> now you're going to want to wait for that ear to thoroughly dry before you put the brace in. <coughs> uh, because if it's 
got alcohol or the uh, adhesive remover on it, the brace won't stick and you'll be wasting your time and effort doing it. Now just so you know where this is going to be placed, <coughs> it's going to be placed in her ear with a little nub down inside the ear, right about there. And the brace is going to be placed right above it, sort of like that position. <coughs> So while I'm waiting for the ears to dry, I wanted to show you where it, and you want the yarn so it's toward the middle of her head. <coughs> okay, now we're going to start putting the braces in the ears. The ears have dried pretty much as much as I need to. <coughs> I'm going to peel one side off only. Stop. And I start the other side so that when it comes time to take it off, <coughs> it'll come off more easily. <coughs> Stop. <coughs> I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the, the tape. Not much. Just a little blob. <clears throat> and then I spread it in a thin layer over the all the <clears throat> the tape. <clears throat> then I'm going to put it in the ear so that the yarn is toward the middle of the head. <clears throat> this particular piece fits this ear. As I said, it goes down in the ear just above where that nub is. So I put it, <coughs> stop. Sometimes if you have somebody to <coughs> hold the dog's head, it makes it a little easy. Down in the ear just above where the nub is, and then I'm going to hold it. <coughs> yeah. I'm going to hold it, and <coughs> the warmth of my fingers will help <coughs> activate the, the glue and the adhesive. <coughs> and then I try to move the yarn out of the way so it doesn't bother me. <coughs> 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 okay. Now I want to put the other one in. Same process. Remove part of the one side of the tape and just get the other side started. Stop. Put a little blob. No, you can't eat that. <clears throat> a little blob of glue <clears throat> on the tape. Spread it over. A light coating over the tape. <clears throat> and again, I put it in the ear. Stop. Just above the nub, and I hold it in place. <coughs> After the ears have set for a little while, <coughs> I want to <coughs> glue the ear over <coughs> so it's tipped forward. <coughs> and the way I do that <coughs> is I take the other side of the plastic covering on the double-sided tape. Let me, let me take it off without taking out the brace. Then <coughs> again I put a little bit of glue <coughs> Spread it over the brace, <clears throat> and then I fold the ear over 
at about the where I want it to tip. <clears throat> Since I want her ear to tip a little higher than it is naturally, I'm, <clears throat> I'm gluing it a little higher. And again, I hold it for a little while. <clears throat> Now I've glued the other ear over, <clears throat> same way I did the first ear, <clears throat> and I want to make sure that they're about the same. <clears throat> if they're about the same, then I'm happy. I've glued them over at about the, they're tipped about the same amount on both sides. <clears throat> I'm going to wait, still wait a little bit while <clears throat> until I'm ready to tie them together. You notice, <clears throat> again, the yarn is to the center of the head. That's what we're going to use <clears throat> to pull the ears tighter. Her ears are up on top of her head. I want them just a little bit tighter, so I'm going to tie them back together for a little while. <clears throat> Once the ears are on top of the head where you want them and as tight as you want them, you won't have to tie them together again. <clears throat> it's just an initial phase. Okay, now for tying them together. Sometimes it's best to have somebody else helping you. <clears throat> I don't have anybody helping me, so I'm going to have to do it by myself. <clears throat> One thing that will help you tie them is when you <clears throat> tie the yarn together, you loop the yarn <coughs> around itself twice instead of just once. <coughs> There's once, and I loop it again for twice. Any, and I pull, slowly pull the ears tight <coughs> until I get them to where I want them to be. That's about where I want them to be. And I usually tie them two or three times once I get them to that place. <clears throat> yeah, that's about where I want them to be. Any, don't you go back off the table. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, yes, much better. <clears throat> Let me get the scissors and I'll cut it off and I'll show you the finished product. Okay, when you cut the yarn off, you don't want it short, short. <clears throat> but you don't want it long where the dog's going to be bothering the dog. <clears throat> I usually take it. <clears throat> and hold the knot in my fingers and then clip the yarn off just above where my fingers are like that. <clears throat> that way they'll stay tied together <clears throat> and won't come loose and won't bother the dog because they're too long. <clears throat> so this is the finished result. <clears throat> the ears are up on top of the head tied close together. <clears throat> Gives her a much improved <clears throat> lean looking head alert expression. <clears throat> which is what they're looking for in the show ring. <clears throat>